in Nagesh Kukunur's door, Zeenat and Meera become friends against all the forces trying to pit them against each other. And by showing the strength of their bond, this story brings home the truth about women's friendships. The Swaddle presents Recasting. In popular culture around the world, we see numerous portrayals of strong and lasting friendships between men built on heartfelt loyalty and camaraderie. Women are often shown as the cause for conflict until the two men come out stronger thanks to their deep-seated values of bros before hoes. In sharp contrast to this, the default relationship between two women contemporaries is bitter rivalry. Even when they are friends, they are unable to overcome their competitive instincts, fighting each other for male validation or professional success. The queen bees of popular cinema are often manipulative characters who are surrounded by a bevy of frenemies vying for popularity, leaving little to no space for meaningful bonds among women. Catfights are seen as a cornerstone of women's relationships, signaling that women would rather prioritize the men in their lives rather than their friendships with other women. But this is where Zeenat and Meera from Door break the mold. These two women come from entirely different contexts. Zeenat is a financially independent Muslim woman who enjoys a great deal of agency and mobility in her personal life, while Meera is a sequestered Bahu and later a Hindu widow whose actions are heavily policed by her in-laws. And yet, despite their differences, a sense of compassion and solidarity brings these women together in friendship. Initially, Zeenat forges an insincere relationship with Meera with an ulterior motive. Zeenat's husband is on death row in Saudi Arabia for having accidentally killed Meera's husband. And the only thing that will secure his release is an official pardon signed by Meera. It is this document that brings Zeenat to Meera's hometown. Much like the stereotypical template for women's friendships, this one too begins on the premise of manipulation and personal gain and revolves around the men in the women's lives. But the difference lies in where the story goes from there. Over the course of their regular interactions at the temple, the only place where Meera is allowed to go after her husband's death, Meera and Zenith develop a strong connection. While Zenith shows Meera the possibility of living a more liberated life, Meera finds comfort in a relationship beyond the oppressive threshold of her home. They begin confiding in each other about their lives outside of their relationships with men, so much so that the story barely features their husbands. They begin to empathize with each other's difficulties and become close confidants. When Zenith finally tells Meera the truth, Mere pati ke hato, tumhare pati ki maut hui. <laughs> Meera is rightly overwhelmed by a sense of betrayal. But defying her human instincts of wanting revenge, it is the strength of her friendship with Zenith that makes Meera pardon Zenith's husband. In depicting this change of heart, Dore shows us how, contrary to stereotypes, women are capable of forming deep bonds built on empathy and solidarity against impossible odds. And in the end, it is this bond that empowers Meera to chase her dream of a better life. As she is leaving on a train, Zenith stretches out her hand to pull Meera along on her journey. As Meera climbs on, they are both overcome by a new love, gratitude and freedom outside the dictates of family, society and religion. And just like that, we come to see how transformative women's friendships can be.